Turns out religion kind of keeps trying to intercept this process of feeling good about my contrast. Like, I'm not in alignment. I'm a sinner. I'm in alignment. I'm good. And it's this old stuff that's rattling around. I feel like I have a kind of a handle on it. At least I know it. So let's calibrate. Calibrate me. So. <laughs> calibrate me, baby. We can't calibrate you. We can offer suggestions and you can choose, but your choices are what the calibration is all about. So the idea of religion feels how to you? Feels how? Feels how? Does it feel intrusive? Does it feel hampering? Does it feel does it feel comforting? How does the idea or the concept of religion feel to you? It's always felt off and annoying to me, even as a little kid. So it felt controlling. Controlling. It felt controlling. Turns so out I control my environment. Like I'm a big control freak. Like because of I'm trying to like so there's so much that could be calibrated right there I'm a control freak or I'm deliberate I'm a control freak or I like to guide things I'm a control freak or I'm doing what I was born to do I'm a control freak I'm an out of control freak <laughs> feels a lot better to be a control freak than an out of control freak doesn't it right so maybe that's not so bad that's true the thing about religion is that we want to start in a couple of places and then we'll calibrate together one of the things that is really worth taking in right now while you're where you are in this dynamic moment of connection to your inner being your inner being never ever looks back because your inner being understands that everything valuable is right here in your now and that your dominant state of being is one of motion forward so your inner being doesn't look back and that's the primary reason that religion has felt off to you because there's a whole lot of looking back at things sometimes a lot of really good things that were said to a lot of people under a different set of circumstances in a different time that you have no possible way of relating to so it's sort of like blah 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 in your way sort of stuff now some of it is relatable we're not at all pushing against religion or anything but that's why it could feel sort of off to you your own memories are a place that your inner being doesn't go once you're calibrated to who you really are then you have access to the galaxy past present and future and you can find meaningful valuable things but until you are feeling good and tuned in tapped in turned on with who you really are then there's a plethora of stuff that could trip you up you see it's not uncommon for religion to be one of those this is a good discussion people around you have deliberately tried to get you to calibrate to religion and the reason is because it's my mother <laughs> well first of all no one cares more about you and her belief is that that's necessary for your eternal well-being and so she's very well-meaning in that but when she gets freaked out and offers you something to keep you from having a hard time it's sometimes not the best path so what you're doing here we talked earlier about together let's take our understanding of the law of attraction to a new level so this is a good opportunity to do this so it's attraction 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 so your mother for for in whatever way she went about it has come to some beliefs that she feels very strongly about and because she cares about you and she believes that her way is the only path to well-being for you then she presents that to you all the time sort of in your face that happens to a lot of people so now let's just take that scenario and let's identify what that feels like to you how does it feel to have your mother very sure of something that you don't resonate with and determined to get you to resonate people really need your calibration in order to support their belief when you're tuned into source energy you're not like that 
when you're tuned in purely to source energy when you've got your own connection to this you're not looking for a bunch of other people to join you in the thought because you're tuned into this powerful knowing and understanding but when you're insecure and unsteady that's when you're looking for other people to shore you up and so that's why not always but in many cases religions and clubs of all kinds are trying to get members to join them because it validates that what they believe is right and that's where we started today that's what most humans are doing you're looking for validation from other people you are wanting to calibrate to others for the purpose of filling the void of not strong but you can't fill up the void of weakness join together with other people who feel weak you're just hanging around with a lot of weak people just hanging around with a lot of insecure people a lot of insecure people that then need to go out and grab other people and drag them in and they can't get enough people dragged in with them that makes them feel the true love of source if you're really in concert with source energy you know everyone has a direct link to that and you're demonstrating your connection which is the only way through the power of your example that others will learn their connection but you're not condemning them and blaming them and shaming them into coming with you that's that other influence that we're talking about that is not the influence of source and so would you say that your guidance is working when you feel an aversion to whatever your perspective of that is which is sort of like what we just spoke here because we got it from you where are you emotionally well I feel like I mean I've been following you for 30 years if you've been doing this for 30 years like it feels like 25 or 30 years and <laughs> you're just a baby <laughs> I feel like you when you said earlier the words aren't cutting it yeah. it's the feelings yeah and but you see I'm a writer I know it, all the words I know right where to put them and I just don't know about but you know what's bothering you it's not bothering you what your mother believes because that's working just fine for her and it's not even really bothering you that she's trying to shove it down your throat she isn't even really doing that so much anymore you just remember when she did it's the record that you keep playing as you push back because in the physical world it feels like if somebody's pushing you someplace you don't want to go that you have to push back and when you push back there's a war against drugs and a war against poverty and a war against teenage pregnancy and everything that there's a war against is getting bigger because there's no exclusion in an attraction based universe it's your pushing against that that is the subject of this conversation let's just cut right to that why do you think that you feel a need or an impulse to push against it are you afraid it's gonna get you if you don't hold your own if you don't stand up against something will it overtake you much of the world believes that but it isn't true is that what it is though do you feel like you need to push back or it will get you it feels like the idea of wrong and right and you have to do it this way not this way is tied to that and it feels like as I go out into the world it's it's a big part of my experience and I want to calibrate my way so hear this and then we'll bounce off of this let's take all of humanity because the animals are doing great <laughs> let's take all of humanity and let's acknowledge them in this realm of beingness and in this big clump of humanity are groups they've gathered together the law of attraction has brought them together they're in groups like there's Republicans and Democrats and athletes and all variety and every subject that you can imagine is represented by a group and the groups overlap we acknowledge that but most people identify themselves as part of an ideological group so there they all are your source and we we see just two groups among all of humanity those who are in this moment that's key those who are in this moment under the influence of who they really are and under the influence we mean a vibrational match and therefore letting in the broadcast of that that's what we mean by under the influence if you're under the influence of something you have found a vibrational match to a broadcasting frequency so source is a broadcasting frequency of love and well-being and enthusiasm and friskiness for the eternal nature of all and then there are a lot of broadcasting stations that are in your human realm that are about fear and guardedness and right and wrong and all that kind of stuff 
So all of humanity, from our point of view, is in this moment in one group or the other, under the influence of the broadcasting station of Source or under the influence of the broadcasting station of something else. That's all. So now, rather than having to sort out the rightness and the wrongness of the behavior and activity or results of the groups, now what you're doing is you're identifying the wholeness of who you have become. We said earlier, if this is going to work for you in a productive way where you can manage and control your own experience, you got to start by accepting that there is another part of you and that that part of you has gravitated toward wellness and goodness. Well, why are we so sure that is true? Why are we so sure that your inner being is in that place of non-resistance? Well, there's some clues. Your inner being never pushes against anything. Your inner being is only about attraction and by the way it feels. But here are some other reasons that we know it for sure. When you as humans come to what you want to call the end of your physical experience, this one, and you call it your death experience and you reemerge back into non-physical, you do not take any of your doubts and fears with you. You don't take any of those judgments. You don't take any of those pushing against things. You don't take any of that with you. You reemerge into pure positive energy. And so as a human, if you are now tapping into your dearly departed, they're probably really different than you remember them because they're not mad at anybody. They're not holding any grudges and they don't remember where the money's buried. In other words, there's just not any of that stuff going on. They are pure positive energy. And you know what they are tuned to? They are tuned to the vibrational reality, the collective one of mass consciousness. And they are tuned to the vibrational reality that you have created. So when they think about you, when they focus upon you, they join your inner being in the singular focus of where you're going not where you've been who you really are vibrationally now all of humanity is in the process of moving from where they are to who they really are in the moments that you're over there you feel wonderful this is a statement a new statement in the conversation of taking understanding of the law of attraction to a new place so your source energy is broadcasting not telling you what to do, not commanding, not demanding, not asserting, just knowing what it knows and joyful in the knowledge. And therefore broadcasting that. Now, maybe you've been in a fearful religion class where you really want to be good, but you don't know what that means. And you really do want to make the right choices, but you have no idea what the right choices are. So you're in a state of confusion and as a result of most religion classes in a state of being pretty worried and mad at yourself because you remember by their standards, all the bad choices that you've made and by their assumption, you are not in a good place in terms of hereafter. So here's source focused right on you, your specific source, non-physical energy broadcasting love and understanding of who you are but you're guilty and embarrassed and whatever so you're not letting it in well since it's attraction 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 do you know that source or your inner being or Abraham or whatever you want to call this particular focus of non-physical energy it just bees and attracts it doesn't assert so it can't assert what it knows into your experience any more than a healer heals like that that's not what's going on there is no assertion you got to find some way of calibrating to what that feels like sometimes music puts you there sometimes your dog or your cat puts you there sometimes a sexual experience puts you there or walking on the beach puts you there there could be any number of things as you're responding to life and sometimes you're there and often you're not but when you get hold of the peace and it's a hard piece for humans to get hold of when you have identified just even if it's briefly and then isolated and calibrated to the love of source You'll never need it from any other place again 
because nothing else compares to that fullness.